I have to be honest, the first thing that I noticed about the Van Dyke painting was the frame. The frame's incredible. It's uh, one of those moments when you get a kind of weird cultural link and there was a real psychedelic resonance in the frame. It's, it's sort of so curly. Then there's that strange juxtaposition between this frame and then the fluidity of the painting and how easy it feels. I mean, and as someone who makes stuff, easy is the hardest thing to do. One of the first emotional responses I had was just the liveliness of the way that he returns your look. For me personally, there's something ever so slightly provocative about it. And I felt like it, it reminds me of the kind of sexually loaded eye contact you might get in a bar on a Saturday night. There's a question. I, I don't interpret it as a self-satisfied or assured eye contact. I just interpreted it as being open. And that kind of openness is kind of a risky thing to add to your, your brand. Like many photographers, I'm an outward-facing maker. I'm interested in what's going on around me. I'm inspired by all manner of everyday things. And I'm not somebody who makes self-portraits. My response was, you know, if that was a portrait then, what is a portrait now? I've been working on this idea of making a self-portrait that was at once about my cultural experience of growing up and becoming a person, but one that would resonate for the audience. My work uses 16 record sleeves, and those record sleeves are things that are going to resonate for different people of different ages and different cultural backgrounds at different times. The thing about records is that for those of us that have used them, they become you know, personal totems. They're highly charged objects. One of the things about my self-portrait of sound system is that I feel that I created a format, and I hope that you might look at the 16 records that I chose and imagine which 16 records you would choose and why you're choosing them. I mean, I, I didn't only choose those records because I loved the music. One of the introductions that I had to photography was the record cover. One of the reasons that I take photographs is because I'm a music lover. And those pictures didn't just introduce me to faces and hairstyles and whatever. They also introduced me to photographic processes. When the installation was finished and the gallery was full and, and I was able to look at my work and his work in the same building. The photograms that I made, I, they kind of came to represent like a nucleus, this sort of white circle with a black dot in the middle. They became like these sort of single cell potential things. But it never really occurred to me how similar they were. They were just this kind of, this big circle. And that's exactly what his frame is. And I, I kind of wonder if somewhere in the back of my mind, there was like a formal connection between that frame. And, and the frames that I made, because I was hoping that the frames that I made, that people would be filling them with their own potential. I'm much more interested in a gallery as a, as a point of departure rather than a kind of a holding place for dead culture. I like the idea that what you encounter in a gallery is something that you take away with you. So this, this self-portrait was designed to be something that started a conversation rather than closed one down. The way that I think about culture is that it's here and now and it's live and responsive. I'm just holding the baton right now and I'm going to pass it on and someone else is going to keep running with it. I mean, that's how I think about culture. That's what's interesting to me.